So, they say never meet your heroes. <laughs> so I'm the hero, what? No, I'm not a hero, am I? I, I, I hope I'm not making you feel awkward. <laughs> I'll sign your t-shirt I, I don't feel like a hero, man. I'm just <laughs> some dude playing with toy guns, okay? Hey guys and girls, you join me on my trip to Austria for the release of SSB5 and Navratil's five year anniversary. In this video, I'll be taking you on a tour of their offices and taking you behind the scenes of the launch event and interviewing Chris on the SSB5 and some other interesting things coming. So yeah, we are officially here, going to enter Navarch headquarters for this launch and everyone's already here, so looking pretty epic. How the Canadians? You sure you know where you're going? But sure. Am I sure right now where I'm going? Of course I do. <laughs> I set up this bloody thing. <laughs> so, Ooh, we're going into the lair. Here we do, yeah. So we've got, we have Ooh. got Wi-Fi and whatnot. Um, you can do it for free. Hey, hey Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you, man. Good to see you. Yeah. I'll get some shows. <laughs> yeah. It's good to be here. <sighs> what have you got to say? At this point, nobody <laughs> in the world knows what is coming out. So suspicious. <laughs> oh, I like that, though. <laughs> well, this is Saturday's yeah. ties. Hmm. Oh, I, I want the pink one. Yeah. I know that's definitely just for skinny one. bitch, yeah. but I'm gonna. I'll just take it. I'll take it. 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 Okay, you got, you got it, you got it? I think I got it. Yeah. Okay, I better put it back. Oh shit, it's stuck. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's literally stuck. <laughs> you will see some very interesting things on this tour, especially in the textile department, which was super interesting. First of all, thank you everyone for coming to our cheeky little uh, launch party event thing. Woo! Woo! We are very, very excited about everything that we've got going on. We've got a ton of cool events, activities, just lots of stuff planned for you guys, and I think all of you are gonna absolutely love it. Um, the team has been working tirelessly. I mean, how how long has this been, thing been in production? Um, the product was developed for three years. So, <laughs> not the event, though. The SP5 was in development for three years. Novich is only around for five years, so this shows you how much development goes into Novich guns. Of the day, uh, we're gonna now kick off a couple of tours around the whole facility. We're gonna be checking out production, textiles, the cheeky little showroom, and there's a few little surprises in there as well, which is gonna be great. We're then gonna take you out for lunch at 11, and then the live event will start at half past 12, of which if you wanna Instagram live it, story it, anything you want when it's going on, the pistol or the, the thing. <laughs> It'll be officially launched at that time, so you can live it if you want to. If any but for now anyway, Joseph, we're gonna split you up into two groups, so I'm gonna kind of like cut you down the middle. Here. Take about one and a half hours, the whole thing. So wow. as you said, it's gonna be development, it's gonna be textile, media, and the showroom. So yeah, grab your cameras, you can record pretty much everything except for development. That's gonna be the first part. There's some secrets in there so you guys can see it. Um, but please don't share the information to the public. All right, you've seen that. Nice. Half the office is filled with development. And there's a reason for it, because we have here, uh, you know, you could call it a hallway, but for us it's a shooting range actually. So you will see, for example, here, all these chains here. So there's actually a process in place if you wanna shoot. You have to put up these chains. Put them here, so people don't walk into the shops and then you can shoot all day long. I had to like, I had to delete that, I had to delete that Instagram. <laughs> I literally had it like, and I was about to hit send, he's like, that's the new one. I was like, fuck, I have to delete this I really now. walked into this office, I was taking a video on my Insta stories. When Chris realized one of the new guns was on the wall. Unfortunately, I had to delete it. Did you design? It's just a fast way of form traffic. But I think most people are well aware of that. Good, then we have our metal workshop because very often I decided to take a quick um, detour into Christoph's office time. to find the so gun that started it all. Oh, yeah. That's the one that started it all. It is right. right there. History in the making. Legend. I touched it. I touched it. I am now an airsoft god. <laughs> <laughs> this used to be a closed um, plywood and it was in the back. But at some point we shot all the way through because we just keep standing <laughs> and you shoot inside. No matter what you put there, at some point it goes through. And it got so bad that actually when I remove all of this, this wall already has a hole. <laughs> and we realized it as soon as we saw that it's coming out the other way. And then we had to kind of like close the wall again. This is such a mad company. And now, and now, <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, really now we have 
a stew plate here. <laughs> I'd love to see a chrono, which catches the BBs as well. Uh, uh, oh, that's your famous yeah, that's gun bar. Yeah. Come on, that's, that's so when you look at here... Yeah. No, put, put it out to market though. Yeah, for sale. Sell it. Come and dropping then some good development ideas. Support. Why not? So if you have a technical problem, then you can expect an answer from these guys here. Right. Come in, everyone. Hello, hello. 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 Hey tech support, I feel bad for you guys. It must be the hardest job ever dealing with some questions. <laughs> of people. I can only imagine the questions these guys get daily. Literally thousands of them. Nico, come in. Children. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, this is TechCR, so customer relations, technical. So if people have any issues, and this ranges from very simple issues from, you know, I didn't the guy forgot to plug his battery until there's problems in the hop-up system, problems in, um, you know, whatever happened. Maybe the customer took the gun apart, put it back together, and these guys have to analyze this, basically. They need to figure out what did the guy do wrong in a polite way. They have to, you know, communicate, receive all that video <laughs> footage, charge it, and fix the problem. Um, sometimes the customer can do it, then these guns come in to the tech area, which is back there. There are all the spare parts are available and they get fixed and sent back to the customer in the shortest time possible for us. We now swap places and get a tour of the textile and media department of Norwich's headquarters. The textiles were super interesting. I am going to show you um, a quick run about uh, how textiles are made at Norwich. We sketched up, the first prototype is done, and these prototypes are all soon in here. So this is a fully fledged tailory and the people working here are also master tailors. So it's not just like people that learn to sew um, at home. So each of the people here has a fully fledged education. And she's also the main developer for Kreuzerland. The, some of you got nice, the uniforms yeah. and some of you just know it from, from the videos or from seeing it. Um, this is the final version here also. So this is the final print. Digitalized camouflage is not digi pattern. Currently, in today's age, every pattern is digitalized. Even this is a digital pattern because it's digitally made. People misconcept um, that it's pixelized for digitalized. A pixelized pattern is not a digital pattern. All today's patterns are made digitally. But in the I find this interesting because DAG says all of today's camo patterns are digital. And that's because they're made on computers, not because of the pattern type. As a human form, that's the original uh, point of camouflage. It's not to conceal yourself. And so after a while, camouflage was merged together with disrupting and concealing. And that's what we wanted to achieve also with Kreuzotter. Kreuzotter should not only disrupt the wearer with like stark contrast forms that break up the form, but also use colors that uh, give on a certain distance, uh, conceal yourself as camo. And it depends also on the distance. Like there's camouflage, like con camo is designed that you are concealed on a very close range. But the farther you're away from it, you actually can still make out the form because it doesn't break up the form of them, but it just conceals them very well. Then there's patterns like woodland, which work really well on about 80 to 100 meters, where it doesn't conceal yourself at all on shorter ranges because it has so large blobs, but it breaks up the form so well, especially when you're behind the bush or something because of the light and dark shades. There has been hundreds of hours that Veronica put in just digitalizing, vectorizing this pattern alone. Yeah. So I'm just learned a fucking shit like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew there was so much to know? Cruz Otter, Gilly, eventually. Sir? Is it Cruz Otter, am I saying it correct? Cruz Otter. Cruz Otter, sorry. No, it's okay. um, Will we see a Gilly suit? 3D, yes. we will. Yes. <laughs> Later down the line, actually. Okay. Can we talk about this? Uh, that's, a, that's a poncho that's currently in development. Currently in, you know, it will be a rain poncho. So this is just the concept uh, prototype again, yeah. where we're okay. using any fabric that we have to just, to make, just make the cut. And Grab your pouch. Yeah, yeah mm. sick, right? That is such a good idea. When I saw that, yeah. I was like, okay, I need one. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That is sick, right? Grab all your pouches and that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this poncho is definitely innovative and something that a lot of people are going to look really forward to. Definitely. So it will, it will be a rain poncho. This one's very interesting. This is very cool. <laughs> very lightweight. I think maybe half a year to eight months. Chest exactly. Oh. We also tested with our coming chest rig. Oh. <laughs> so there's other things to come. We don't have a sample currently here because it's in, in mass production. This um, is very cool, man. 
very cool. Maintain consistency with the prototypes. I come to that later. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> this is actually the new prototype of our bestseller, the classic rifle cover. So the classic rifle cover that's used for the SSG-10 normally had a scope cover on it and we thought, okay, we are not only making new products, but we are also improving old versions. So this is the Gen 2 version of the rifle cover where you can use whatever scope you like because we have different scope covers now and you have eyelets on it to better allow for readjusting and taking it off because the old covers, the very first generation, didn't have eyelets. They just had, you had to poke through the mesh, which was very tedious to do and very, like, it held once it was on there, but you will never want to get it off again. Mm. Now Joseph takes over and takes yeah, us on a tour so of the Navarch yeah, Media Department. The launch, so checking everything, double checking, triple checking, making sure that country restrictions apply for people from Ireland, for example, <laughs> because the pistol is a bit too powerful um, mm. for Ireland, but we are working on a solution. <laughs> so all these things need to be considered. We cannot just you know, send it, whoever orders, whatever, because obviously laws and, and stuff. So, Sorry, no, uh, also the, the, the page. <laughs> That's what we're giving you in secret VR. The third <laughs> one. <laughs> That's the well, this down. is a little awkward. <laughs> the casting couch. Does anybody look at the couch and think about <laughs> that one couch? Oh, I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. Nobody talking knows. About. No, no, no. We already had some this perverts here before. Familiar. <laughs> Nick from Airsoft Hell is tempting me to go to Dark Emergency next year. I definitely plan on going. It's like promotion. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. This is on the event. That is pretty nice. Wow, <laughs> Nico. What are you doing, man? What's going on? What is this? Nico is interested too, it seems. What's your hair? But now it's time for the official launch event. Everybody, it's awesome to have you here today. My name is Claudia. I am one of the co-founders of Norwich and also Christoph's sister. Quite some time has passed since our last event. So everything you, which you see at Norwich it has been tested intensively and only if our airsoft players approve, then it comes to our shop. So we want to make sure that all airsoft players have a great experience. So we are also very proud of this figure because with every single order, with every single package we send out, we are including a little letter where people can give us feedback because you know, we always try to be perfect Sometimes does not work, but we try our best. So we're very proud of having this high positive feedback. So we at Norwich are ready for the next big thing. Question is, are you? Unfortunately, it's top secret. So I am not the one who is able to tell you what's going on now, but we have somebody in the audience who can tell us? So, Chris, please come on stage. Yes, I know it. I can. <laughs> <laughs> I've the seen one it. In the <laughs> Good. All right. Uh, once again, welcome everyone. Um, the top secret is a product that we're launching today. It's a product that we're all really excited about. Everyone in the company, I think, has seen it. People have had it on the field, and people are really really excited about it it took us more than three years to develop so lots of time and energy went into it and we really couldn't wait for this day especially team bravo who was working on this for such a long time also we have the celebration of five years at norwich so this company is five years old their youtube channel is about 10 years old but you know at some point we had to found a company around it to kind of support this infrastructure so here we are and there's actually a coincidence because the gun is named SSP-5. <laughs> that wasn't even planned, but it just happens to be. And the SSP-5 is a gas pistol that comes with a quite bold statement, which is, it's gonna be the pistol that will make you wanna sell your rifles. Some people are gonna question this, like how good can a pistol be? So it's my mission here to convince you guys, to show you guys why this is an amazing product. And we're gonna do that right now. So, 
here we go. That's the pistol. You can already see it here um, in different versions. Good. I would like to start with the history of this project because it started in kind of ish in 2018. I was in Hong Kong with a guy called Mubi. And Mubi is either very rich or in big depths because on the table there is high cappers, custom high cappers, and each of them is between a thousand and four thousand US dollars. And back then I was sitting on this table and I thought, yeah, what's going on? Like, why, why would you do this? So much money for a pistol? Like, my Glock costs 150. Like, well, what is this even? Why is this so special? And we did the video, he showed me all the flashy stuff and he talked about it, and I was very, very skeptical because. The value of all these pistols is about the cost of a Tesla Model 3. And I was really like, why would you do this when you can have this? Again, I was very doubtful until I shot one of these pistols. And it's very hard to explain, but the experience of shooting a $3,000 high caper is like nothing you probably experienced if you sticked with stock pistols. The way they are optimized, the way they're designed, the lightweightness of the slide and the snappiness of the trigger is insane. Yeah? The different sound, when you shoot it, that recoil, it's so extremely fast. Like, it, You know, you would think any gas blowback gun is instant. Once you shoot these, you feel like the other ones are slow. Like these things shoot like, it feels like an HE on binary trigger. You can trigger them really fast, they stay on target, and yeah, you can outshoot people with AGs with these pistols. You know, some of these are 2,500, and I really thought, like, I don't have the money for this. Like, I, I've got other things to do, and that's, it's just out of my budget. But it, it stayed on my mind, and I really thought, you know, one day I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have it, but right now it's like, you know, I couldn't run through the forest with this, scratch it all over, get it dirty. Like, no, it's just too expensive. And then a person named Yan Wen, he sits actually in the crowd somewhere, where's Yen? Here we go, Yen is over there. <laughs> Yen joined the company and Yen is full of ideas. So I have a picture of him. Um, <laughs> that's not Yen. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Yen looks most of the time. Yeah? When you stop by Yen's office, that's probably how he looks. Like he sits there and he has amazing ideas. So this brain is full of creativeness, um, you know, lots of history of airs of tuning and yeah, he came with this exact face to me and said, Chris, what if we make the best pistol, my dream project? And you know, he shared his vision with me. I shared my ideas and what I saw in Hong Kong, but his ideas were way better because he has way more experience in high-caper tuning than I do. And he put together this requirement sheet right here. Number one was that any OG high-caper tuner out there, you know, these guys who drop their entire salary into high-capers and are doing this for 10 years, they must go, wow, like, that's amazing. I want this exact thing. That's my wet dream since the last five years. And, you know, it's, it's a high-caper tax dream, basically. In order to do that, we need to beat a 1,000 US dollar high-caper pistol because, you know, if you go, if you cross the border of 1,000 USD, it's kind of where the unnecessary fanciness starts, but this is where you get like the highest possible performance and a really nice feel. So we had to beat that. Therefore, we needed the most lightweight slide assembly in the high caper market. And this is not easy to achieve. Like there's multiple companies trying to achieve this and they get light materials, they machine them like crazy. It doesn't even look like a slide anymore to get it as light as possible. But we said in order to be the best, we have to be the lightest in the slide assembly. Checked. And I don't want to get too technical, usually, but I think in this case I have. The way it's usually done is that tuning companies take an injection molded design from Japan and they put it into a CNC machine. And this is highly, highly, highly inefficient. Like these things have never been designed to be CNC machined. And they just said, you know, screw this all out the door. We make the whole thing new and we optimize this for CNC manufacturing. And it is really, really optimized. We still have all the advantages of CNC, which is tight tolerances, strong material, lightweightness, and that like fancy feel of touching CNC stuff. All of this went into this pistol and it's very efficient to manufacture actually, which means we could offer this at a reasonable price, which was one of the ideas of this project. Then we CNC'd the whole thing because we obviously had to test it. There was this one and when I shot this for the first time, I was like, that's gonna be the shit. Like when this hits the market, people are gonna freak out because it's gonna be affordable, it's efficient, and it's just, you know, that's what people want. And I kind of thought, well, now we're done, right? Working prototype, like how long can the way still be? But you would be surprised putting something into mass production is super hard. Like it's, it, we always get challenged by it and it actually took a stunning 
178 weeks to put it from a functioning prototype into actual mass production in our warehouse, which is today. Um, looks like a long time, but CNC machining takes a long time, like it's not as fast as injection molding. We really had to tighten on the tolerances to get the feel of a premium high capper, and there was lots of optimization here and there. Getting the gas, cut, the gas cut out right, all of that good stuff that Yen can tell you about for four hours probably, but I'm not gonna bother you with it now. Good, it's here, it's in the warehouse. We are ready to show it to you guys, so please enjoy the SSP5 launch video. We love to use airsoft pistols. They are light, mobile and agile. But traditionally, they serve just as a backup to your primary rifle. We decided to change that and design a pistol that would outperform even some sniper rifles. And thanks to our exceptional development team, we have done just that. This is the Novridge SSP-5, the primary pistol. A pistol that outperforms most rifles in both range and accuracy. A pistol that stays on target thanks to the lightest slide assembly on the market. And a pistol that is ready to shoot 0.4 gram sniper BBs out of the box. No matter what your style is, this pistol has... The Norwich SSP-5 comes with the lowest red dot mount possible for easy and accurate aiming. Combined with almost no recoil, you can shoot faster and track every single BB you fire. Due to the lightweight slide assembly, the SP5 is gas efficient, allowing you to fire more BBs per magfill while packing a punch with every shot. The SSP-5 is extremely durable as the complete upper part of the pistol is CNC machined and comes with pre-upgraded steel sears. To ensure superb accuracy, the SSP-5 has a fixed barrel and uses a TDC hop-up system, ready to shoot up to 0.4 gram sniper BBs. When it comes to accessorizing, we made sure that the sky is the limit. Besides a red dot, you can put on suppressors, amplifiers, flashlights, lasers, color parts or anything you need to complete your mission. And the best thing about this, you can run all of it simultaneously while having the pistol holstered. We added a special holster adapter which doesn't interfere with any other rails. There are simply no limits. Just go on and make it your own. Norwich.com Next, customizable. The SSP-5 is gonna be, you know, one of our biggest flagships, so we're not gonna cut it short when it comes to accessorizing. There's gonna be CNC parts, you know, not just the stock ones, but we're gonna have different lengths aftermarket options, so you can turn this into a 4.3 or 5.1 high capper if you desire so. This will also drop the power, obviously, but that is possible. They're gonna come in eight different colors, so you can make it flashy for those speaky B players out there. Um, we have the red dot and the red dot plate as we speak with the launch. Also the universal holster adapter is already available. And we also have the charging handle here in the back available as well. Then we have extended mag wells. I think I have it here somewhere. Or maybe not, okay, maybe not. Um, and we're also coming out in about a year from now with an integrated tracer. So inside this front slide is a tracer with a Spitfire. Tracer, so you can put this into any normal holster. It's still a reasonable length and Yeah, got a good length nice to aim and very minimalistic yeah. You just switch it on in front and you go to town. Did I forget anything? Yes, HPA adapters are also coming. I think someone took them. Yeah, someone took them But we have HPA adapters coming the tape mp5 magazines We chose the mp5 magazines. We believe it looks a bit slicker and a little bit nicer than a chunky m4 mag so that's why we went this route. For all the influencers, every single channel will get an SSB5 right now. So we will all get one. And yes. 
<laughs> we opened a buffet of accessories and SP5s. You can make it your own, but Shu will give you more infos on this, also on the shooting range and all that good stuff. All right, then once again, thanks for the entire company for making this possible. It's not just Team Bravo, but really the infrastructure of this entire company, which includes every single department. Uh, one person cannot make such a product. We had to realize this the hard way with SG24. You need the infrastructure. You need good people, motivated people who show up to work and do good stuff. So once again, thank you for the entire company. You guys are being great. And thanks for the influencers for coming as well, for distributing the idea of, you know, as of being great, without you guys, the community would be a lot smaller. It highly benefits from influencers. Without them, as of would be kind of like the underground thing in forums, like the word of mouth thing. And it's not because you guys are pushing out the content and you make as of big. So thanks for that as well. <laughs> Good. Then go to town and enjoy the SSP5. Up close, the SSB5 is very, very nice looking. That low red dot is super cool also. It's interesting, I get to take a gun, which will become my gun. I'll choose this one. And then I get to go on an assembly line and build it for my gameplay tomorrow. So, yeah. We may as well take one of these. Holster. 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 I mean, I, I guess you just take everything, don't you? Technically. I guess. I mean, I... Red dot mount. What's this? Okay. Charging handle. I'm kind of jealous, actually. <laughs> I guess we, we have to build our gun for tomorrow, I think, yeah? What Robert, do you think? Uh, I'm not an influencer, I'm just... <laughs> Well, I support that. I'll sneak, I'll sneak one out for you. Oh, Jesus. Dropping pads. I feel like you need a bit of everything. I mean, take everything. So, are you going building your gun? Hey, they're on mine. They're on mine. They're on mine. <laughs> Build your gun for tomorrow. Joseph, building our gun for tomorrow. Uh, yes. Is build that it. what we do? We just walk away, build yeah, it? Yeah, you just build it. And that's what we rock tomorrow in the field. Yes, exactly. Sounds and good. You can also rock it on the range. Yeah. Oh, yes. Very good. Let's try again. One more go. That's my excuse. Okay, shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Fuck it. <laughs> nah, the waste. The fucking So, they say never meet your heroes. <laughs> so I'm the hero what? No, I'm not the hero, am I? I, I, I hope I'm not making you feel awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign your t-shirt later. I don't feel like too. a hero, man. I'm just <laughs> some dude playing with toy guns, okay? <laughs> no, that was a total joke. But no, look, seriously, we're here at your launch event for five years anniversary. Uh, and I gotta say, it's, it was pretty epic, especially that presentation yeah? that you just gave with your whole company. Now, I know that wasn't on live, and guys, you haven't seen it, but it really makes you appreciate what you've done in five years. I think this is something like your 12th gun in five years. Uh, I, I lost count, Yeah, probably. I think, I, I'm pretty like sure yeah. it's number 12 anyway, so that's yeah. pretty amazing. So anyway, as you know, we're here to talk about the SSB5 and mm. Navarro's five year anniversary. So let's get into the gun first of all. So whose idea was it to, to bring this gun to the market? So it wasn't my idea. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could just take credit for it, but it's a genius mind and the guy with the genius mind is called Yen. Oh, um, he runs the R&D department, um, or at least the ideas, he like feeds ideas into the development team. 
And, you know, he just knocked my office and said, yo, Chris, let's make this amazing pistol. I have this vision of a high capper that, you know, performs on par with like a $1,000 high capper, but we can make it much more affordable by optimizing certain parts for manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he did come up with a requirement sheet that's quite long. I'm not gonna list it now because gonna, that's gonna take forever, but yeah. basically it is the result of his idea and three years of development. That's very good. Like I'm an engineer, so like when I look at guns, mm. um, I don't really care whether it's it, it looks like another gun, and, mm. etc. But what I want to know is what it's got. And I, I think earlier on the launch, you mentioned that this is like one of the first guns that has a polymer and aluminium. Yes, it's a um, hybrid blowback housing. Yeah. Com like a compound material, so it's like using both of them um, for mm. strength. So that's kind of unique. Um, was that just for weight saving or? Um, that is for weight saving and also for... The thing is we, we wanted to make the slide from an extrusion profile so we mm. get the properties from a billet um, aluminum block. And you can only do that if you extrude material. Like if you yeah. injection mold it, if you die cast it, mm. then you get, you know, their brittle tolerances are off and so on. And when you look at this actually, you will yeah. see that, you know, usually when you look at a high cap at the back, it's it's closed. But yeah. you see here the circle, which means when you take out the blowback housing, it actually looks through. It is a profile. Oh, right. Okay. So it's basically an infinitely long profile, and we machine it from this profile, and that's what makes it very different from traditional high cap slides, because they basically take the Marui, the Japanese Marui yeah. design, and they machine it, and it was never made for machining. Yeah. This yeah. is why these things are so expensive. But and because I'll we redesigned it, it's. Mm. Affordable, yeah. and obviously you got a TDC built in here, so that's nice. Yeah. What kind of bucking do you know is in this? Or um, we did try like triangle shaped maple leaf buckings and all of this, but yeah. honestly, because this pistol shoots 1.5 joules on point fours, and it is a gas gun, if you put these like long contact surface buckings in there, it overhops anything, yeah. right? Okay. All, all the time, yeah. And like you know, my I'm from Ireland, so we do all one joules. Can we expect to see like a one joules version? Or? Um, Yes and no. Um, there will be aftermarket um, front yeah. kit, which means that you can have it shorter. Okay. And we could release, that's actually a good point, we can do that. Um, we can have basically a shorter inner barrel in this gun, which makes it uh, less efficient then when it comes to power output. Yeah. Yeah. And that would bring the power down. Yeah. We also have a, we actually never tried that, but there is a nozzle reduction on our website. So it's basically the nozzle with a reduction that's insert. That's P1, yeah. Exactly. I wonder, that, you think that would fit do in here? We, honestly, we never tested it. Um, yeah. It does influence, you would be surprised how much that insert actually influences. It doesn't, doesn't just lower power, but it influences the way this pistol functions Very in good. many, and many ways. But yeah. it could probably work. Yeah. And I heard that it'll take SSP1 mags earlier, so that's kind of yeah, useful is, if, you have, if yes. you have one of those already. It takes so. the gas mags and the CO2 ones. Very good. So uh, I was going to joke by saying, are you still living in the office? But then we had that presentation <laughs> and some people still Sometimes are living in the office. <laughs> Sometimes I sleep here. <laughs> so that's, that's dedication though, I, I admit. Yeah. You, I'm drinking a beer, by the way, because we're having a party. Yeah, yeah don't so think we're, I'm we're gonna keep bloody alcoholic or something. I, I, I need to get my shower in, and I want to get back and party and drink <laughs> and have fun. But yeah. no, seriously though, um, you need a lot. You need a that presentation you give that needs to go live. People need to see that. We I have think, it. I think oh, that this one you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> like, Maybe it's a very private presentation. It, but yeah. It's really like if yeah. people. I really do think if people saw that presentation, you'd have such an appreciation for what you've done Maybe, in five yeah. years. But it, no, it's really cool. And look. Yeah. As you as you aptly named, yeah, I was I was nearly having bets on with some of my friends that this would be called SSB two, but no, it's mm. SSB five. So you named it after the five year anniversary. So it's kind of like a nice signature gun, a way to celebrate. So, yeah. but it looks yeah, it look it looks really good. So, I I have to ask right because I, my subscriber base have been kind of saying, now I know you won't be able to disclose it and all that, but. What I keep hearing from people is there's a few guns that they want, right? <laughs> so uh -huh. I'm gonna say. Some, some are looking for GBBRs, some yeah. are looking for exclusive mm -hmm. HPA. Now we know with this you're going to do the HPA adapter, so yeah. that's brilliant. Like that's really good. And people are looking for like the AUG, Steyr AUG. Actually that's an interesting one because in Ireland we, our army uses the, the Steyr AUG, yeah. same as E in Austria. Yeah. So yeah, they're, so that's kind of what people, I keep hearing people like, we want these guns. It's like over <laughs> and over again. So it's kind of interesting. So yeah. yeah, make that happen now, just make that happen. We, That'd be nice. At some point we're gonna have every gun. We are Austrians, you guys can expect a gun, yeah. uh, like an AUG at some point. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about that, it's that's, gonna come. That's cool, yeah. that's cool. But um, so yeah, what's kind of next? Are you still gonna keep producing more guns? Um, 
Well, the thing is that most of the guns that you see on Nobish.com right now, mm. um, the only ones that I didn't make myself are the SSR9, the SSR90, and now the SSP5. Okay. Like all the others are still Joseph assisted in a way, but most of them are still kicked off by me. So all the design requirements and so on. Yeah. And I would say I'm a decent as of tech, but I'm not like the fucking best tech <laughs> out there, right? But what we did is, you know, I only hired good techs. The requirement was kind of like, if you're not better than I am, I don't yeah. even consider hiring you. Yeah. yeah. So. The development team of 15 people, they make me look stupid, literally. <laughs> like they just so they know so much more than I do. And you know, I could not build a pistol like this. Um, I could not design a pistol like this. But my mission was kind of to bring the best genius minds together and give them the infrastructure and the financial support to you know make their dreams reality. And this is um, this is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely unique. I've never done the speed QB, but I, I definitely will be rocking this with HBA. Yeah. Do you think we'll see CO2 mags for this? In, in uh, it exists. I mean, they're already in the market. All oh, right. SSP okay. one CO2 mag uh, works on it. However, we do not recommend it below uh, above 15 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Just for the fact, you know, this okay. is a, a highly gas efficient pistol and honestly, I never understood really the hype for CO2 because if your pistol is gas efficient, CO2 um, gas makes are way more convenient. You can fill them real quick. Yeah. It's not like, oh, is the CO2 keeps it still full? I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah. It was kind of a gear bag. Um, it's cheaper. It also produces less trash, yeah, if that's a concern for some people. And on this pistol, there's no reason to use CO2, except yeah. for it getting too cold there. Yeah. If it's 15 degree and lower, then CO2 is, a, is the way to go on this okay. one. Okay. Yeah, because as you said, look, it's, it's half a slide. It's, there's very little recoil. Some people. Yeah will really like that. Obviously, if you do not speak QB, you don't want much recoil, you want to be shooting lasers recoil super idea, fast, yeah. but yeah. this is very snappy. And it's got actually adjustable trigger, I believe you yeah. can. You, you can, can adjust the... And it's, let me tell shopping. you, it's already very crisp out of the box. Yeah. So it's very, very nice. Um, this is definitely innovative. For those of you who don't know, like there's never been a red dot mounted, literally flat, like it's flat. Um, so it lines up nicely with the sights. Um, so I would probably actually, I probably will take this off and put the back sights back on. As I a, honestly, yeah. I personally would not run a charging handle. Yeah. yeah. Some people like it in competition, like they want to do this fast tracking and-, and I might take that, that off for the gameplay tomorrow. Yeah. Because <laughs> you do it like when you have the, the iron sights on there, you know, you align your sights and the dot hovers on top. So you do what you've always done, but you have the support of the dot on yeah. top. Yeah. yeah. No, look, Chris, we need to get back to the party. So yeah. that, I'm going to wrap it up with that. But thank you so much. And thanks again for having me over here at your launch. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully see you for the next one. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Thanks. thanks so the next day we get ready to travel to Czech Republic to play with SSB5. That video is already live on my channel. So definitely check it out. As you can see, I have my SSB5 fully pimped out and ready to go. As always, guys and girls, thanks for watching. I'm Fox Green, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you soon.